Assalamu alaikum viewers. Myself is LK. Can you answer the given question? The question is about the mile steel rod. And the question is what will be the length of given mile steel rod after applying one or more caps cross our load no problem. It's an axial load. Okay. At the diameter and the length of the rod are one over two inches. This is just the diameter of the bar. And 36 inches is the length of the bar. I'll come to straight into the solutions to answer the given question. Let's read the question once again. What will be the length of given mile steel rod after replying one of OK's load? Actually, we just need the elongation of this bar after load application. So in the solution, I'll just calculate the elongation of the given rod. And the elongation may be given in this form, FL by AE. This is a nice plug and check in formula. Here, F represents the applied force or the load. L is just the length of the given rod, A is the cross sectional area of the given rod, and E is just the modulus of elasticity of the material. If you see FL and E are given, we just only need the cross sectional area. And the cross sectional area must be pi d squared divided by 4. Because this is just a rod and the diameter is given. I'll just plug the value of diameter, which is 0.5 inches, in this formula. So A equals pi times 0.5 squared divided by 4. The area must be 0.196 blah 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 in square. Let's do some plug and check in the elongation formula. Let me call the elongation as L dash because the original length is represented by the L only. Okay. The F is given, which is 100 caps times the length, which is just 36 inches divided by the cross sectional area. We did this guy a few minutes ago times the modulus of elasticity of the material. If you see in the problem terms, we are just determining the elongation of the mild steel rod. Let's assume this is the mild steel A36. Modulus of elasticity of A36 mild steel is just 29,000 KSI. Do some maths with this long thing. You'll get, of course, L dash, which is just the elongation is 1633 blah 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 inches, which is, of course, 1.6 centimeter or 16 mm. Many of you will think where does the formula come from? So let's prove the formula over here. L dash is just FL over AE. If you remember, the modulus of elasticity is always the ratio of stress and strain. And the stress is always the force divided by the area. Remember, the strain is the change in dimension divided by the original dimensions. So E equals F by A divided by L dash by L. If you are good in mathematics, just rearrange the same formula for L dash. Of course, you will get FL by AE. And this is it. Of course, we have proved it. Thank you guys for watching.